Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a grocery haul for you. Um, so next week's gonna be a little bit different. I will actually go more into detail on this in my update video, which you guys will see on Tuesday. I'll film it on Monday. Um, but basically I am, our agency's closed next week because of all this stuff going on with the virus. I work in education, so our entire office is closed. However, I will still be working either in the office or at home, but again, I'll go more into that. So I figured it's just gonna be crazy. I work in HR. Life is just gonna be a little bit crazier, I think, at work the next few days, just you know, answering questions, that kind of thing. And there's just a lot of work that we have to do anyway. So I decided I was just gonna take a week off of making dinner for the family, just having them fend for themselves. I have all, my children are you know, adults, so my husband is an adult. So I figure, you know what, I just, to kind of alleviate the stress of everything going on, I'm just gonna take the week off of making dinner. So my plan for my meals, I'm just gonna prep everything during meal prep and I'll have that for lunch or dinner and that's what I'm gonna do. So we'll see how this goes. But let me tell you the things that I plan on making. So I have, and these are pretty much all new recipes. I will be filming one of them for sure, separate from the meal prep video um, because I will film that video for you. So I have a salsa chicken, a baked crack chicken breast, Thing, but I had to actually substitute because I went to Costco. <sighs> yeah, that was insane. Um, ground, beef, ground beef quesadillas, chicken cheesesteak sliders. I'll be using a dinner roll, keto, keto dinner roll recipe. And then the one I'm filming for you guys is a spaghetti squash Alfredo broccoli dish. And then also for one of my lunches, I wanna do a pimento cheese chicken salad that I'll just do in lettuce wraps. So Costco was insane. They're only letting 50 people, I guess, in at a time. So I would just stand in line for a little bit. And then they were all out of chicken, thighs, chicken breasts, except for chicken tenderloin. So I'm just gonna have to modify it because I already had gone to all of my other stores at that point. So I went to Walmart, my local grocery store, and then Costco last. They were out of milk, so I had to go to another store and get milk. They, oh, they were out of pork chops, so I couldn't get pork chops. That was a plan. So the chicken, I only thing I could get was chicken tenders. So let me turn the camera around and show you what I picked up. I do have a few new items, by the way. So a couple of new items to share with you as well. So I picked up some bacon. This is some center cut bacon. I'll need this for that cracked chicken and then also for whatever, for eating. So this is what I end up getting at Costco. This is a fantastic price though for chicken tenders, only $2.99 a pound. So it's in six packages. So you have three packages of this. So this will work. I, I wanted to get chicken thighs and chicken breasts and then that way I had them in the freezer, but that didn't happen because they were already out. I just went too late, I guess. I picked up some of the smoked pulled pork. I'm just gonna throw this in the freezer. I don't really need it, but I like to pick this up when I go to Costco because it's amazing. Picked up a big thing of ground beef at Costco. Um, this is like three, $3.79 a pound, which at my local grocery store, I can usually get it cheaper than that, but this the quality at Costco is a lot better, so I just picked it up there. So around the same price, but 50 cents different, I would say. I picked up some of the Angus beef patties, again, just to put in the freezer to have for, you know, just an easy lunch or dinner. Picked up a rotisserie chicken. I will be having this with my, that pimento chicken salad. And then also for one of the other recipes, I cannot remember which one I'm thinking of, but from one of the, oh, with these sliders, the chicken um, cheesesteak sliders. For the quesadillas, I picked up these car bound whole wheat. I really wanted those spinach and herb ones because those were so good. But these are three net carbs. Uh, a new thing I picked up, I've been really liking these AHA drinks from Coca-Cola. And this one I had a single of, the peach honey, and it was super good. I've been trying to buy the singles when I can to try the different flavors. So far, um, I like all the ones I've tried, but there are a couple I have not been able to find. So there's eight 12 ounce cans in here. This is just sparkling water. There's no sweetener, no sodium. I like this so much better than Bubbly and LaCroix. I've just never been a huge fan of either one of those. There's some flavors I like of the LaCroix, but the Bubbly, I've never been a fan. This is so much better. Finally, my, this was literally in the very, very, very back of the shelf, hanging out by itself at Walmart. I'm, the entire sugar and flower section was wiped at Walmart. Walmart was insane. Like we live in a small town and that's why it's so weird for me to be going there and seeing the stuff is gone. So I did get my pure sweetener because I was not a fan of that Stevia one I bought last week. And this is Stevia, but it's Stevia Erythritol and that other one I bought last week is the same thing, but something about this one is just so much better. Heavy cream for the Alfredo recipe and also for my iced coffees. 
half and half. I just like to keep that on hand because I do sometimes just like half and half in my coffee. But I did pick up a new creamer this week, so I will show you that. Shredded Parmesan and Romano cheese. I believe this one is for the Alfredo. I picked up, this is new to me, the Hazelnut Super Creamer. I really enjoy the Super Creamer. The only ones I can find in town are the um, vanilla and the hazelnut. I was really, but they were out of vanilla when I went the other day to pick up a new one. So I picked up the hazelnut. I'm not a huge hazelnut fan, but the hazelnut flavoring is not as bad. So this actually is really good. I do enjoy this. I could not find the sweet cream one here. Now, brand new to me. I think this is actually a newer product. This is from the Stoke brand. You've probably seen their coffees that they have. They also have a creamer and it has MCT oil. So it's very similar to this super creamer. So I found this at Walmart. Here are the stats on it. So for one tablespoon, there's that. And here are the ingredients. So it's just water, non-fat milk, MCTs. Um, yeah, there's all that stuff. So the difference as far as the ingredients of a super creamer in this, there's not actually a lot different. The sweetener, this is monk fruit sweetener. This has no sweetener. So I don't know, I'll, I'll let you guys know what I think of this one. There is one that is a, um, it's called original and it does, it has two grams of carbs because it does have some sort of, it has sugar in there, cane sugar in there. Let's go around. Cheese. So I needed provolone for one of the recipes. I'm not sure which one. I think, oh, for the sliders. Sharp cheddar is for the pimento cheese recipe for the chicken salad. Mozzarella was for, I believe this one is for the salsa chicken. And, and also, oh, for the keto dinner rolls too, I need the mozzarella. Colby Jack is for the cracked chicken and then for whatever quesadillas for the kids, they're gonna make quesadillas and stuff too. Cream cheese, I needed one for the salsa chicken and then half of one for the pimento cheese and the other half for something. I'm not sure which one. And let's see, I think, oh, a couple other new items. Now, I don't like black olives, but I don't mind green or Kalamata. Kalamata olives are not as bad to me. Like, I don't know, I've just never been a black olive fan. So I found these, these are ready to eat, Mediterranean organic. This is just green pitted olives with herbs. It's just a good on the go snack. Here are your stats on there. And then the Kalamata, Kalamata, I don't know why I can't say that. And they're pitted, which is nice. This one has a hint of cumin. Okay, red pepper for one of the recipes. Uh, cilantro, green onions, green pepper for one of, oh, for the sliders. Avocados, romaine lettuce for salads and for those um, pimento chicken salad wraps. Broccoli for the Alfredo recipe, tomatoes for salads, celery. Actually, this is going to be for a stew that I'm making. I am going to make that um, Sunday night for the family because I have the meat to do that. So that's the only meal I'm making for the family this week. The rest will just be on their own. Plus, I can have this with whatever. For that pimento chicken salad, I picked up some sliced pimentos. Pickles to snack on. Spaghetti squash for that spaghetti squash recipe. Salsa for that chicken salsa recipe. I was just out of Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, however you say that. I was out of that, so I just picked that up as a backup. Blue cheese for salads. And then olive oil for cooking and all that stuff. So that is everything. If you guys are not subscribed to me, I hope you will take a moment to do so. Also hit that notification bell to be notified when I put up videos. You will see a meal prep video on Monday. Sunday, I do have a recipe video going up with the stuffed peppers I talked about last week. And then you'll have my regular update video on Tuesday, what I eat in a day, two days of eating on Thursday. And then we start all over again with the grocery haul. So I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys.